Well, a second coronavirus vaccine is awaiting emergency approval from the FDA. It's from Moderna. Now, today, an advisory panel for the CDC will vote on who gets the vaccine first, which will likely be healthcare workers and people in long-term nursing home facilities. Now, tests indicate that the most promising COVID-19 vaccines will be highly effective. They will not, however, provide a 100% guarantee that you'll avoid the virus. Vaccines typically aren't 100% effective. But why? Well, let's ask our why guy. It's like putting on a suit of armor to protect you from harm. Only the suit doesn't fit everybody. Vaccines will protect you if it's the right fit. Flu vaccines, for example, are typically anywhere from 40 to 60 percent effective, which is why tests showing 90 to 95 percent effectiveness with COVID-19 vaccines are raising eyebrows. That's very impressive. That's really very, very good for a vaccine. Let's look at why most vaccines are not a 100 percent guarantee of avoiding illness. Vaccines are designed to encourage your body's immune system to produce proteins that attack an invader. In general, the more closely a vaccine <clears throat> resembles the disease-causing organism, the better the immune response tends to be. It's not always about the suit of armor, but the body it's supposed to protect. Some immune systems will go right to work if prompted by a vaccine, while others aren't so eager. Emory University's Dr. Walt Orenstein says the reasons aren't clear. There may be genetic issues. Dr. Ashley Hannings of the University of Georgia School of Pharmacy says age is another factor. As we get older, our ability to launch a strong immune response does tend to, de to uh, decline. Medical experts insist vaccines are the best way to avoid illness while discouraging the spread of disease. You're not only protecting yourself, but you're protecting the community as well. There is the polio vaccine that involves a series of shots. The CDC considers them 99 to 100% effective and credits the vaccine with eradicating polio from the United States.